Hey everybody, I'm here today with a video on the HomePod Mini. In this video, I will be going over how to update your HomePod Mini easily. This will be a straightforward tutorial, so let's get right into the video. First and foremost, I really should say this, your HomePod Mini should be updating itself on the regular, okay? So whenever there's an update that is regarding the HomePod Mini, it should update itself, okay, automatically. So you shouldn't have to do it manually, but it's technology, sometimes it glitches, sometimes there's problems, it's bound to happen. So there is a way to manually update your HomePod Mini and see if the update that you have, the firmware that you have, is up to date. It's actually really easy to do and all that you need is your phone that is connected to the HomePod Mini, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the phone over here. Let's just put in my password that I just made up quickly, all zeros, just for this video, uh, just for this, this set of videos. What you're gonna do is you're gonna open the Home app. So you see right here, open the Home app, okay? Just like that, I should bring this in front of the screen. So we've opened the Home app. Okay, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this little home icon right over here and it doesn't even look like it's clickable. That's why it's a little bit tricky. You're gonna click this home icon right over here, okay? Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click home settings. Now I'm gonna move my phone off the screen because I wanna get my personal information off the screen. So I'm gonna click home settings right now and what I'm doing, and I'll bring it back on the screen in a moment, is I'm scrolling past my personal information, okay? So now, from home settings, what we're gonna do, as you can see right here, from home settings, I scrolled down a little bit. Um, we are gonna go for the software update option right here. So you can see software update, it says automatic. If I click software update, okay, you can see it, the HomePod is selected and it's checking for HomePod updates. So what this will do, and we don't have to bother sitting through this and waiting for this, but what it will do is it's gonna tell me if my HomePod firmware is up to date, and if not, I can update it. So if you think that your HomePod firmware is not up to date, then you can go through this and you can manually update it. But like I said, your HomePod should be updating itself, okay? And it likely will, but sometimes, you know, glitches happen, it's technology, it's how it works. So if it didn't update itself and you think that it might need an update, then you can do it manually using the method that I showed you. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.